824. Welcome back to Fox 21 Local News right now. It is time once again for the Indie Give campaign and Fox 21 is helping out by highlighting local organizations that need your help and one of those organizations is the Phoenix. And joining me now to tell, about, tell us all about it is Kaylee Jones, Development Coordinator and Todd Jones, the Colorado Springs Chapter manager. Chapter manager. I didn't put that in there and I knew I was going to forget it. But good morning. Thank you guys for being here. So, Todd, for those that don't know, what is the Phoenix? Sure. So, the Phoenix is a sober, active community for people that are in recovery from substance use disorder and for those that choose to live a sober lifestyle. We use uh, peer led um, events to um, help people that are recovering from substance use disorder. All requires 48 hours clean and sober directly before the event, and the event is free to the participant. Wow, what a great idea. So, um, Kayla, what's the problem and what is the solution? Yeah, so SAMHSA did a national survey recently, and Colorado has the highest, we're number one in the nation for consumption of drugs and alcohol. Uh, so we have about 12% of the population here in Colorado Springs for the state of Colorado, yet we have 15% of all the fatal deaths due to prescription pain meds and heroin. So that's our problem. Our solution is the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. We create this community where people are welcome, where no matter what their pathway to recovery or what their approach looks like, they can come and find people who are trying to do the same thing that they're doing. Um, yeah. Todd, where do, um, who can come to the Phoenix? Who's allowed to come and sign up? Right. So anybody with 48 hours clean and sober. Um, it can be somebody who's had a problem with drugs and alcohol in the past, somebody who's just choosing to live a sober lifestyle. We really want anybody who, who's just dedicated to that uh, sober lifestyle to come. And where does the funding come from? Great question. So we are a nonprofit, so a large portion of our funding comes from the donations and support of people in our communities. We also do some funding through grants um, and you know state and local foundations. So obviously the Give campaign would be a huge for you guys. What would you do with the money that you guys raise through Give? Absolutely. So what we would be doing with the funds is, is continuing our mission. Um, we just moved into a new facility off of um, 21st and 22nd, so um, that wouldn't be a huge support for our programs and making sure that it remains free and breaking down those barriers so that the people who are coming out and having this courage to get sober have a place to come and they can do the CrossFit with us, they can do the rock climbing with us and that they don't have to worry about you know paying for that service right now. Awesome. So Todd, why physical activity? Why the, why the group mentality? Great question. So when I first got sober, I didn't know what to do. Um, you know, I didn't know what to do with my free time. I didn't know what to do. Um, I didn't know how to make friends very well without a social lubricant. So um, getting involved in a new activity, new hobby, new healthy things, new um, healthy avenues for my life was critical. Uh, the fact that it was free at the Phoenix for me was amazing because uh, if I had had the wherewithal to be able to pay for um, you know, to learn how to climb or learn how to do CrossFit or something like that. Sooner or later, somebody would have said, hey, after this, let's go have a beer, which would have been fine for them, but devastating for me. Mm -hmm. um, so it was just provided a safe place to do these activities and to change my lifestyle. Awesome. What a great idea. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you want to donate or help out the Phoenix or any of the other organizations featured in this year's Indie Give campaign, just go to our website, fox21news.com, and search Indie Give for more information.